and my understanding of the method. And uh, probably I should be introduced. So the original uh, references, uh, original references, uh, Uh, recently, I published a uh, monograph on this uh, method. So the um, So the uh, other references will be introduced in the course of the, my lecture. So, okay. The first notion in, in which is important in this uh, theory is the uh, ubiquitous, ubiquitous appearance of the secular terms in the perturbation expansion. I mean, the uh, night uh, perturbative expansions. So the uh, so I <clears throat> so this is an introductory seminar uh, lecture. I, I only use a uh, only simple. Okay, this is the damped oscillator, and uh, you know the solution. So this is a linear <clears throat> linear equation. Okay, so <clears throat> because of the, this small dispersion, uh, it has a damping amplitude. And also the uh, uh, slow motion of the phase, our shift of the uh, uh, angular velocity because of the dissipation. And but to, to my surprise, if you apply the night of equation expansion, this simple equation uh, by expanding the solution like this, then the uh, Respective uh, part obey the following equations. But okay. So uh, let's take the uh, for this uh, uh, solution. Uh, I'll take uh, okay. and uh, plug in to this one. We have a uh, Now the so this is the inhomogeneous uh, uh, differential equation, and uh, we encounter many times to this type of uh, inhomogeneous differential equation. So I introduced some form mathematical formulas, which you may know very well, and <clears throat> so we start from this.
So the, I, I introduced the, uh, the method of the uh, variation of the constants to uh, solve the uh, inhomogeneous equation. Uh, this is the operator. Uh, uh, given this inhomogeneous equation, uh, linearized, and this is a vector equation, and this is some matrix. And then they are uh, applying the uh, <clears throat> variation of the constant, you end up with this formula. And this is very long. Uh, with the initial, initial value uh, okay. and uh, then <laughs> let's assume that uh, for simplicity, in, in this part, I will assume this uh, matrix is the same simple. Uh, I mean, this is the diagonal, the diagonalizable, diagonalizable. Okay. So, uh, actually, the renormalization group method can be applied to the the case when A is, has a Jordan cell, but it is uh, uh, will be it may be. Explained after. And then if If uh, lambda is not equal to lambda alpha, uh, uh, any uh, eigenvalue, then you would end up with this. Uh, the, 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 this integral can be done uh, easily. Okay. So you, you are the, so. And the, the <clears throat> uh, 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 <clears throat> this function. Sorry, sorry. Huh? So in your initial equation, A is a linear operator. Linear operator. Sorry. In, in that, in the second line, the what is A? Is it the same A or there's hmm? no hat? There's no hat on. Ah, that. I forgot it. Ah, okay. In this mathematical direction, A is all, always always okay. always. <laughs> Everything is a portion of the double. Ah, sorry. Mm. Oh. Thank you very much. I forgot to uh, write uh, this term. Okay, thank you very much. Mm. Dirty calligraphy. <laughs> uh, some uh, after some manipulation, And uh, this is actually the uh, uh, solution to the homogeneous equation. So we can discuss this part. part. And we are only interested to get uh, some particular solution. So uh, we can choose this one as the particular solution. So, <clears throat> and uh, formally, 
So this is a particular solution. I, I will always uh, choose this this type of particular solution. So <clears throat> we are solving the so so particular solution is given formally by, by this manipulation. And uh, derivative t lambda and uh, uh, operator a uh, becomes uh, lambda. So you uh, this is rather trivial case and. Uh, The interesting or notorious case is this case. And uh, probably in this part is this one. And uh, then you have a uh, uh, so. You have uh, this. This is a secular term. So, the, using the similar argument, we can take the particular solution to this equation. Formally, uh, this way the uh, secular term appears, and uh, now. Let's see this equation. This is the zero mode. I mean that so uh, the case when the secular term appears, uh, the uh, inhomogeneous part is the zero mode. And uh, in this case, uh, L cosine zero, this is a harmonic oscillator. So we'll have a uh, here, secular term. Actually, that is the uh, so and uh, Uh, 
hands up. <clears throat> and uh, this, uh, uh, this is the uh, uh, so this gives me a Uh, um, and the call commutable, and uh, and this gives. So you define L as the uh, uh, second order derivative. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yes. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, anyway, this is the trivial thing. So, anyway. <clears throat> And uh, so if you like it, by using this uh, manipulation, uh, you will have a uh, uh, in this case, we take the either the zero. Okay. So this is the And uh, you can go further to the second order. And uh, with this, you have again the uh, like this, and so and uh, yeah. So up to the third order, we have a uh, uh, collecting all the terms. Uh, we have uh, So, okay, it's a surprise because the, same, uh, the original equation admits a uh, damped oscillation, but this uh, simple application of the perturbation theory gives give the uh, uh, ever growing amplitude because of the secular term. Never damping. Okay. So, many people. Uh, surprise or surprise to this phenomenon, and so devised many uh, uh, methods 
to uh, resum this uh, secular uh, like the uh, bunker and either state, bunker right state, the of Gogolim from Mitropolsky or Santa Manifote or Santa Manifote or so on. And the, <clears throat> okay. So the generalization group method is the one of the method to resum these particular terms on the, and also uh, extract the slow motion it explicitly. And uh, because uh, okay, this is the disastrous result, but uh, uh, we can sum up these secular terms in this form. Uh, up to this third order. I wrote the uh, after original equation uh, the phenomena going to infinity never occur. No. Never. 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 And uh, if <laughs> if you know something, this is the first term. This is the first term of this form. So we didn't anything wrong. We are expanding this formula faithfully. We got, yeah, correct expansion of this. So nothing was wrong. But, uh, sorry, so here you took the example of a damp uh, hmm? oscillator. Here you took the example of a damp oscillator, but originally there, there was the same kind of problem in high energy, I mean, in quantum field theory. So oh, what, yes. what, 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 what was the, what was the analysis yes, of this uh, 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 epsilon? Sorry? What was the analog of this? So here is the damping epsilon. Coupling constant in the yeah, yeah. Field so the, 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 uh, the origin of the secular term yeah. is the uh, appear <clears throat> distance of zero mode yeah. or, or uh, the solution to the uh, unpartable equation. Yeah. So the so you if you apply the perturbation theory in quantum field theory, yeah. you start from the free part. Yeah. And the free part has a Lagrangian, yeah. and uh, this and uh, applying the part of the theory to the quantum field theory, you will encounter many uh, zero mode or solutions to the uh, uh, free part, but uh, multiplied with some divergence, yeah. and this divergence would be should be renormalized to their original yeah. free. Uh, they are going to be so free part. But uh, with the renormalization of the uh, mass and uh, yeah, uh, the function, yeah. that would occur in this case also in this simple differential equation. Yeah, but here it's a damping, but in the quantum. Uh, uh, okay, uh, so this method can be applied to other cases without damping. Okay. Hmm. Of course, limit the cycle, for example. Do you want to in this cycle? Yes. So, <clears throat> now the
So <clears throat> we apply the some trick to this simple equation. So mm, the, the this simple trick is actually motivated to the theory of the quantum field theory or uh, effective action theory of effective action. Uh, so, <laughs> but I, I I will not enter this part. Of it. And uh, we assume that we have some uh, this is the exact solution. We have a we suppose there is a exact solution and uh, We start from the exact point at the arbitrary time t node. And I choose this the values as the initial part. And the point is that t naught is arbitrary. Okay. So <clears throat> by applying to so this, so our solution is expanded like this. And uh, <clears throat> each value is frozen at the zero. And yet not to be determined actually. We don't know actually what is this. But uh, we, and this is the way uh, in the context the quantum field theory to do. And uh, we are going to apply the perturbation theory. So we also expand this initial value. So actually, this is. And uh, <clears throat> so the, uh, <clears throat> the, the second point of this method is we choose a, a particular solution like this. And uh, uh, in the general case, we have some uh, uh, nonlinear, uh, but uh, we are dealing with the linear equation, so we have no term. And uh, we only have a secular term, and uh, we can. So before we choose only this part, but uh, <clears throat> using the free part for uh, a part of the solution, we can. Uh, cancel out this secular term at T naught. Arbitrary initial time. So because we are, we suppose that our initial value should be as good as possible. Okay. So if we can, if we can, we should uh, make the particular solution as small as possible. And this can be done because of their uh, zero mode. And uh, in, in the world of the physics, uh, the, <clears throat> the singular term can be enumerated away into the initial value or initial actually. And uh, okay, so 
Uh, one important point I forgot. Uh, I forgot to the important point. And uh, <clears throat> uh, Uh, the <coughs> integral constant a and theta can be can be dependent on the initial time theorem. This is the important set of So I mean that the secular term would be denormalized away into the slow motion of the amplitude and the phase. And that, that is the uh, idea. And then we can proceed to uh, Okay. <clears throat> now we invert this here. So this is the exact solution. And uh, we are constructing the uh, a part of uh, part of part of the solution, and so this is like this. But uh, uh, the our particular solution is should be valid around t uh, is near t is zero, but uh, if Far away to the initial point, uh, this uh, <clears throat> alternative solution goes away from the exact solution. So, like this. And uh, we can, but uh, P naught is can be another point. And again, we apply the same procedure. Then we have a good uh, solution around T zero to prime, but uh, it's again far away. Uh, from the table. And uh, yes. So we have a actual treasure with the uh, yeah, infinite number of the solution, which are varied, quite varied around uh, after the time D naught. So why we uh, connect these solutions? And uh, this uh, we can connect these uh, <coughs> solutions like this. Then we should have a solution which is valid in the global domain. Our particular solution is only valid locally. 
around T node, but T node is arbitrary. So connecting those such a particular solution, which is locally valid, and then connect, which is connected to, to we should have a, a solution, which is valid in the global system. So, so these local solutions, they are pandemic solutions. Hmm? These local solutions. No, these are local yeah. solutions. Yeah. You know. Pandam, yeah, this one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the disaster starts here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so this is a start point. So we we have a disastrous result if we apply the perturbation theory. But wait, wait, wait. We have the, this uh, poor solution has a good property around the T north locally, locally. So get it together. Then we have uh, some power. So my question is, uh, what about the expanded this respect to T0, T1, T0, or epsilon? Epsilon. epsilon. So, but even perform the perturbative expanded with respect to T0? No, T dot is uh, arbitrary initial time to apply the perturbative uh, initial, initial, initial time. Uh, if you know the some uh, quantum field theory, this is the renormalization point. Renormalization point it is arbitrary, and the uh, uh, physical quantity should not depend on the uh, renormalization point. That is the renormalization theory. The point is uh, uh, the T naught, the initial time is arbitrary. I don't understand why. Sorry. Okay. Anyway, so uh, this is what I considered uh, 30 years ago. And uh, this is, uh, so this yellow curve is it's, uh, envelope of the uh, perturbative solution, particular solution. So, what is the mathematics of the envelope? So the <clears throat> again the uh, mathematics. I learned this theory, of, uh, I mean, the classical theory of envelopes in the differential geometry uh, from the textbook of Teiji Takagi. Basically, <laughs> in the first grade of my undergraduate, I started the first. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, maybe Tura Hilbert also contains some uh, discussion of that. Uh, so, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, so, and uh, but uh, this uh, uh, content is uh, somehow adapted to be applied applicable to the differential equation. <clears throat> so, So simple case. Uh, 
Uh, this is the A family of curves uh, parameterized. Ah, uh, and uh, I'm not up to top. And so, uh, And we have some <coughs> and the curve. And the envelope is a, a curve which shares tangent line all, with all the family of the uh, curves. This is the and uh, our task is to get the uh, Problem uh, yes. So we uh, on the Uh, we choose the architect point uh, for E and uh, which satisfies this uh, equation. And so, uh, moving the varying the tau, we uh, this point goes on the envelope. And so, uh, differentiation. It's for registration. Oh. And uh, on the other hand, there are This is a normal. Normal is a gradient of f. So this tangent is orthogonal to the number, and uh, uh, this is uh, so the. Uh, Also, gravity condition, and so, and this is a 
necessary condition for their envelope. And uh, this part is the stimulus. Oh, no. <laughs> So we end up with the, so if you have an envelope, we should have a, a F should, uh, uh, the F, after the F. And this is a, a necessary condition for construction of the envelope. And uh, this equation, uh, if applied to the differential equation, this equation is called the normalization group equation. Envelope equation can be interpreted as, as the envelope equation. Uh, uh, there is some <clears throat> notices about this condition because this is only a necessary condition. And uh, the point which is given by this condition may, be, may not be a, uh, may not construct the envelope, only a singular point. But uh, I, I skip off about this subtle point. So uh, these functions, each this function uh, represents represent this uh, uh, member of uh, and uh, so ge geometrically we can interpret uh, this function that this is uh, this gives the uh, family of curve parameterized by T naught. And let's construct the uh, envelope of uh, this function parameterized by T naught. So, and but uh, we we are uh, in in the course of construction, we know that what should T naught, what should be, or what should T naught should be, because T naught is a contact point, because we are a <coughs> T naught is a. a, a the, our function should uh, be on the exact solution, and the exact solution are <clears throat> supposed to be angular. So the this point is this uh, our parameter is should be on the uh, t <laughs> on the contact point. Uh, <laughs> and so. <clears throat> And uh, actually, in the usual envelope function, envelope theory, uh, this equation actually gives the Tau and the tau by and if I to see oh, and then sorry okay in the conventional <clears throat> theory of envelopes uh, if you don't have a C uh, from this equation you solve the tau in terms of the x y and then <clears throat> you plug in this one. Uh, we can, and this is uh, the identify the uh, function which is described them. In that case, what, what 
the old old thing. Old thing. Ah, see the basic part of the history. Yes. See. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. That is a very important point here. And, uh, and in this case, so uh, in the course of the construction, our envelope equation actually gives the equation for the C or initial value. <clears throat> Integral constant. And uh, this is the uh, like a coupling constant for uh, uh, mass in the quantum field theory. And uh, <clears throat> oh. あ、そうか。えっと。えっと。なんか忘れてない。ちょっと。で、どっか Okay. えっと。それから。あ、ここ間違って、これ。おかしいな。すいませんね。あれ。うん。おかしい。ちょっと。ちょっとどっかでトリビアと間違いをして、間違いをしている可能性があるんですけども。あ、いいのか。これがやっぱりサイン、サインです。これはやっぱり間違えています。<笑>
書き間違いで<笑>、えー、そうすると、えー、それから、ですかね。あ,あ、そう、えっと、そうですね。はい、えっと、それで。これが二位の。ですあ、二位の。二位について成り立たないといけないので。えっと、この。単位、独立な関数の定数を、ゼロと置きます。えー、はい。で、ここのところ。あ。どこですかこれ取っとじゃないです。あ、はい。あ、あ、ごめんなさい。あ、そう。ここは掛け算です。あ、そうですか。あ、ごめんなさい。あそう、そうですね。こ,ここだけの、ゆっくり書くべきですね。こっちか。ごめんなさい。えっ、ー、と、ここで取っとしてもいいんですけども、t、t0 を t に置くので、これ消えちゃうんです。はいだから、えっと、T0 の微分はここしか書かない。えー、そうすると、だから、えっと、ああ、そうです。So we end up with this、uh, two set of、uh, simple differential equation. Linear equations. And、uh, in this game, we should solve this exactly. Okay, this is a very simple、uh, point, but this, this is very important. And、uh, this is how the summation is achieved. So we have a <clears throat> And、uh, there would be the、uh, valid solution. Well, which should be given by the envelope is given by the, in this case,、uh, initial point. For arbitrary T naught, so t, I change that notation T naught to P. And so, actually, all the circular terms disappear, and、uh, only we end up with the、uh, Uh, the uh, uh, free part, or, but、uh, in this in this case, the uh, uh, integral constants have been renormalized with this、uh, slow <clears throat> time dependence. And,、uh, So, uh, this and so、uh, we have only applied the second order perturbation theory. But the outcome is、uh, have an、uh, infinite number 
theories of the epsilon. So, uh, so this phenomena is called resummation. And we have uh, exact amplitude behavior. And uh, but uh, uh, angular velocity is somewhat different from the exact one. But this is a uh, first part of the uh, uh, So, by construction of the envelopes from the uh, notorious or automatic uh, expansions, which are only valid around the uh, arbitrary time T naught. Uh, we have a, a solution which are quite valid in the global domain of time. And also, we have uh, extracted explicitly and uh, reduced the equation which govern the amplitude and the phase. This is a, 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 a child <laughs> equation of the, of the uh, such a reduction theory. But, but still, it's valid only for small, small epsilon. Hmm? Still, it's only valid for small epsilon. Oh, in this case, oh yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, but in this case, we uh, rely on the perturbation theory. Yes. This is not the non-perturbation theory. But uh, uh, in some sense, using the perturbation theory, we have some non uh, ex uh, extracting some non-perturbation defects, which are uh, 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 we, we it can be reached reach by the part of the show. Uh, I mean that uh, we sum the higher order than the Yeah, but not. Well, but but, but not we, we, of course, we, can, we may not be able to do uh, some part which only uh, go by the non part of the way. That's of course, uh, the theory is all uh, yeah, the global information. Yes. This is out of scale, scope of this theory. Excuse me. Uh, uh, so, uh, amplitude A, A is exact. But theta uh, is uh, if if we consider a higher perturbation term, uh, the dynamics of A uh, does not change. Yeah, yeah, yes, it's a natural question, and I try. I was also worried about, it, but uh, uh, this equation uh, will not change in the higher order. Right. Uh, question: uh, So, uh, the only one, yeah. So, like this. Uh, yeah. Yes, always. And also, some somebody asked me, "You are um, uh, discarding." Uh, so, by applying the so thought, we have uh, some second order term, and also the, in the high order, we have uh, also a cubic terms. And uh, in this method, we don't utilize these higher terms. Uh, but this may uh, represent some knowledge about the solution. Uh, why don't you utilize these higher terms also? But I don't know. And some mathematician told, uh, told me that uh, uh, such a theory which utilize the uh, uh, higher orders of the uh, Terra expansion uh, is called a jet theory. Jet. <laughs> you can consult the uh, encyclopedia of the mathematics uh, published in modern time. So you, you may be able to uh, construct the uh, theory which you can use jet. <laughs> Can you? 
even if you do the higher order of calculation, you cannot obtain the result. Oh, oh, yeah. Uh, this is this omega is improved. I mean, this amplitude is exact amplitude already in the first order. It's not a normal in high order. A change in the high order. But the uh, angular velocity will be improved by the higher order further. Yes. How different is the speed of how different will be different exact Ah. It can be graph. I have. I don't know. Ah, so please uh, see my monograph. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yes. And uh, if I can use the computer, I can show you. But it's the one. You, you cannot distinguish in the different. Uh, in the global domain between the uh, even even for epsilon epsilon is zero point five or the and uh, uh, our solution gives a very good quite good approximation to the in the global and some figures are given in the uh, uh, monogram. Oh, yes, and uh, actually, <coughs> and I see. Okay. I, I, I got your point. Okay, so then, so if we, every equation can be converted to the system of equation, so the so we can have uh, some. Thing like this, so I think. and uh, <clears throat> uh, if you have uh, some children, and uh, this is uh, And uh, and then <coughs> how good did this? Uh, Andrew, you mean? Yeah. So, and uh, that it still it 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 So the, yeah, I mean that X tilde uh, satisfied the T uh, around, uh, you know, and uh, up to the epsilon to the Rs. And uh, the, so T derivative of the X is like this. 
And that, but this is uh, yeah, by the generalization uh, envelope equation. So we have a uh, uh, sorry, okay, see now. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. And this is the So T is T is arbitrary. So T naught is arbitrary. So if because of this envelope equation or normalization group, uh, this, if X tilde satisfy the original equation locally at T and T naught at up to the epsilon M, M, then in the this envelope satisfies the original equation globally up to the same order. So I give another non trivial example on the whole equation. This is Uh, this uh, part is uh, amplitude depend, uh, dependent uh, uh, dispersion, and uh, uh, this is uh, 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 this equation is called the Van der Poel equation, and uh, <clears throat> this is the equation. Uh, describe the self sustainable oscillation uh, in Japanese, delay shindo. <clears throat> and the self sustained, yeah, self -sustained oscillation uh, is described by the uh, distance of the limit cycle. And our problem is how can we, how we can extract the limit cycle? By applying the part based on theory. <clears throat> and oh, okay. I prepared uh, the conventional method, period of Bogoriu for Mitter Polsky method to apply the this, uh, but uh, I don't have much time, so I skip it. But the uh, application of the normalization method is very simple. And uh, okay, so um, again, we are supposed uh, some exact solution. And uh, on the arbitrary time T naught, we are going to uh, construct a perturbative solution. And uh, so. And the initial condition uh, have to be determined.
So, first, uh, there was no other. We have a uh, and uh, and <clears throat> and uh, we choose. In this, in this case, cosine function. And uh, <clears throat> they apply And uh, so so with, with this, okay, and uh, this. Is the origin of uh, secular secular? Uh, this is the higher harmonics, and so <clears throat> oh, actually, For the longer to find it, the longer to come to the Right. Then <laughs> again, the, the, uh, because of this part, we have a particular term to the first order solution. And but the, uh, the formula of the, the form of the particular term is chosen uh, suitable for the to be applicable to the Numerical group method. Okay. And uh, if we end up with this uh, first order, We have a disaster result because of the uh, but uh, geometrical point of view, we are uh, provided with the family of curves parameterized by the T naught and uh, <clears throat> integral constant A and theta are also dependent on T naught. And so we are going to construct the envelope or uh, prime and numerization of equations. And uh, this gives uh,
ちょっと語法が間違ってるような気がするんですけども、えっ、ー、と、どこ、これをって説明を間違ってるのかな。なあ、こう、あ、違う違う、こプラスで書いてるんですね。だからこ、ここ、あ、やっぱり、こプラスで、ここがマイナス。<笑>えー、ということで、うん、あとあのー、マイナスのここはちょっとあの、微妙かもしれないところなんですけども、それからあの、うん、えっと、シータ、シータドットについても出てきますけども、えっと、例えばですね、この A ドットは、ここ、これかな、A ドットは、うん、あ、これでしょう。こうなって、だから A ドット自体が一致しろなんですね。だから、この項は一致しろも2乗になるので、我々は一致しろの一乗までの解析しているので、これは消え、あ、sorry, <笑> yes, yeah, we are dealing with the fat in up to the fat, up, up to the first order, but from this equation, generalization group equation,、uh, A ドット has already order 一致しろ。And so, this part has order 一致しろ square. So we discard this part. So we only have a, this equation. And we may have a theta dot, and the theta dot is,、uh, can be found to be zero in this order. In this order. And so,、uh, this, is, so this equation is、uh, given there、uh, n goes to two. And、uh, this is the limit cycle. And uh, <clears throat> and uh. <clears throat> So, in this case, we have a, a Hiromara is the free, free solution、uh, plus the nonlinear term with the higher harmonics. And Kramus、uh, or Krilov Bogorin or Mitropolsky, sorry,、uh, usually this is、uh, written like this. And、uh, <clears throat> A part of the solution is normalized by the perturbation with the same form, but also you have a, you should have a nonlinear term with high harmony. This is very important. And、uh, as, uh, in my understanding, the you,、um, famous operating method only gives the, the only the normalization of the、uh, free part. We do not give the nonlinear part.
this, uh, I mean that the, this simple normalization group method, which I believe are uh, very simple, uh, give their uh, naturally lead to the, this form of the denormalized solution with the denormalized free part and the nonlinear part. And this is actually, this was actually the under in the grid of Bogolyu from Mitropolsky method. But uh, we, <laughs> we naturally uh, arrive at this form, Ine inevitably. <laughs> what we did is uh, uh, set up the, the uh, for constructing the envelope and uh, Afterwards, we only basically solve the uh, part of the equation. And, uh, so, and uh, without uh, being afraid of the appearance of the secular term. And the secular term uh, uh, eventually utilized. Uh, because of time, uh, would you sum up and let's take a question from the Okay. Yes. Uh, 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 in science, there are so many problems which have uh, uh, slow, mo slow motion in the asymptotic state. And uh, people are very interested in such a, uh, <clears throat> people are interested in extracting the uh, dynamics of the, the, the <clears throat> described in different uh, slow mode and also the variables, a uh, slow variable, which may be called a, a collective variable, which are uh, simply described by the original variables. And, uh, uh, the renormalization group method can be applied to this problem. And the uh, renormalization group method was invented by the Illinois group, by Chen Gold and Ferdon, but uh, maybe simply interpreted uh, in terms of the classical, classical theory of envelopes. And uh, <clears throat> by constructing the envelopes of the uh, naive uh, perturbation solutions, we can disarm the, uh, would be, divergent theories which have uh, secret terms and also we uh, we <clears throat> uh, have a uh, uh, separated uh, differential equation which uh, govern the slow motion and also the this <clears throat> method uh, naturally tell us that uh, slow mode slow variables are actually the Integral constant in the non perturbative equation. You see, A and theta become the slow variables, and A and theta are uh, integral constant in this particular. And so, integral constant would be lifted up to the uh, slow variables. And uh, the normalization group method uh, explicitly gives the uh, differential equation to govern this slow. Model. And this method can be applied to other method, of, of course, uh, partial differential equations and uh, uh, stochastic equations, Langevin equations, and difference equations, and uh, so on. And thank you. Um, uh, so any questions? First from the table here. So how about from the Zoom audience? Any questions? So you can simply raise your hand and just see. Can I ask a question? Yes, sure. Yeah. Uh, is it assumed that the 
renormalization group method that the nonlinear terms for their smoothness, such as uh, they can be expanded as formal power series or polynomial power series. Oh, so uh, I mean, there is ask this is that because I hope I often hear that that the RC method encompasses other singular perturbation methods such as averaging and large, uh, um, other methods such as the Marie reaction or so, but averaging method can be applied to so no uh, so broad class of vector fields such as they they don't they don't have smoothness so such as they have discontinuities so uh, uh, but uh, so uh, in this method can be applied to the system with a discontinuity i mean the discrete systems which have a tremendous uh, discontinuity then but uh, uh, yes and uh, this method can be applied to difference equations so so it, and also the Langevin equation with the stochastic equation and, uh, from Langevin equations we can apply it, <coughs> extract the focal plank equation by applying the this renormalization group method so so the nonlinear terms don't you don't need to assume the nonlinear term can be expanded in formal formal power series uh, so 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 you don't have to assume that the C infinity class for the nonlinear term in renormalization group method. Mm -hmm. So, so I, I, yeah, I, I don't, I can't answer the, in generic way, but uh, uh, at least some uh, equations which have the uh, discontinuity in mm -hmm. the nonlinear terms, such as the such as range of equations. Uh, our renormalization group can be applied. Oh, okay, thank you. Uh, Kunihiro san. Hi. Uh, it online na nisu kero kikoi te masu ka? Yes, hi. Uh, Chiba desu, o shashuri desu. Eh, dare? Uh, Tohoku Dai Gaku no Chiba, Chiba desu. Oh, Chiba san, hi. Hi. Uh, for one small start, uh, just question, we need uh, the assumption for nonlinear non uh, terms uh, as our C infinity function. Sorry, I don't get to your point. Sorry, say again, please. Uh, for nonlinear terms, we need the assumption that nonlinear terms is a C infinity function for mathematical justification. I, I don't know. I, I see. Yeah, you need. I, I, yeah. 数学的に正当化するためには、微分可能性が必要となります。微分可能性が必まあ、うん。フォーマルにはもちろん。うん、サムケース、いや、バッ、ああ、うん。ああ、どうも。インサムケース、ああ、maybe、ああ、インサチャケース、ば、ああ、マスマティカルファンデーションイズニートリギブン、バッ、ああ、the method could be applied to other cases、ああ、どうも。That is my physicist answer。So you disagree? No, 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 I, I agree, but, agree. <laughs> but ma 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 yeah, mathematics is good, but uh, yeah. uh, uh, even, even, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, but, uh, for example, this yeah. method uh, assumed that epsilon is less than one, but uh, this uh, method can be applied to the case where uh, epsilon is two, oh, yeah. and uh, give the good uh, approximation of the exact solution. And so, as I, think, I mean, is that is that your... So, yeah. ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがと